Welcome on a fashion channel here with us today, Hani Rashid, one of the most uh, famous uh, art stars all over the world. We can uh, start by telling something about your career. When did you start uh, and which was your idea where at uh, the beginning? I, I thought I would become a filmmaker and a, and a photographer and I wanted to work in the, in the art world in general, but in a kind of within the world of film and so on. And then um, at some point I saw some films by some of my heroes, you know, Antonioni and uh, Beralucci and uh, Godard. And I, I became fascinated with, with reading the liner notes and finding out that many of the, the photography experts and the directors had studied architecture or were involved with architecture. And I thought maybe architecture is interesting as a kind of a transition into another art form. So I, I started to study and become an architect uh, with a passion for the same things one would have in film. Um, so yeah, it, it became a passion and, uh, and then I began to study and Eventually, I, I um, graduated from my, my master's degree in, in the United States, and I moved to Milan, uh, and I set up my practice here. I spent two years, very, very young, but, um, but trying very hard to, to start uh, practicing. Uh, and so I began in Milan more doing things like uh, shows for, for the fashion week and uh, working within, within the sort of world of fashion and architecture, um, but then decided that New York was a better place for me. and. Uh, began to practice in New York. In the beginning we started in the art world, um, doing art installations and uh, working in, in places like Documenta and in, and in the art biennales and so on. Uh, and then eventually moved into building, designing buildings. Uh, my first building was in Holland um, called the Hydra Pier in a, in, a, in, a, in a lake. I built a building that's floating in the lake near Schiphol Airport, which is uh, quite a beautiful little building. It was an experimental building, the first building ever done with computers, really, uh, and, and computer design. Um, and then, you know, years later, uh, we built um, the Yaz Hotel in Abu Dhabi um, over the Formula One track uh, with a kind of a dream, a delirious dream that the cars should race through the hotel, uh, that the hotel, the building should somehow be in the marina as well as on the track. And that the building gives you the sense and the beauty and the poetry of motorsport. Where and how did you take your inspiration to start uh, to, to, to build uh, this uh, incredible uh, building that you realized? Well, the, the beautiful thing about that part of the world is um, the people are willing to dream and they're willing to um, provide you with the, with the energy and even and the economically to build amazing things. So I thought it was a great opportunity. I mean, it was like a dream come true for an architect to have a client and a city and a culture that was looking for the future. That building is seen by 600 million people every time there's a race there by, on television. Um, so the building's, let's say, photogenic qualities have to be super high because they have helicopter shots and every time the cars go around bend, you know, the curves, where, where the, the turns where the building is located and through the building. We lit the building with 5,600 LEDs that make 30 million colors each one. Um, so when the light changes in Abu Dhabi, and the light there is very special because of the sand in the air, uh, the building transforms almost magically into a whole different sort of project. And that was for me a very beautiful opportunity. If you think about architecture as an art form, not as a science necessarily, but as an art form, it's the art of human occupation of our, of our planet. It's the art of how do we make lives and people's lives better how do we produce beauty and, and poetry and powerful things? Concerning the environment and the importance of zero impact, and you have always paid a lot of attention. Architecture's history has always been about the environment, right? You can look at structures built in the Persian desert uh, in, in, you know, centuries ago, and they knew how to use wind, they knew how to use sun, they knew how to use water. Um, and, and that's been always the case. It's only in the last, since the Industrial Revolution, have architects and, and, and builders and planners been completely irresponsible to the planet. Um, and now it's time to really go back. So in many ways, it's, it's like looking way back in history, but at the same time using all the tools at our disposal today to do something very much in the future. What do you think about the city of Milan and the last few buildings that are now famous all over the world? Yeah, I mean, Milan is a very special place because it's, it's really the most 
Well, one of the reasons I lived in Milan, one of the reasons I really love Milan, and the reason I love New York as well, uh, is that it, these are fantastic cities that, that merge the past with the present and look to the future. Uh, Milan has these kind of beautiful moments of history, but at the same time it's a modern city, and it's a city that is progressing fast. Hani Rashid, thank you so much for this uh, interview. Enjoy your journey in Milan. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, bye-bye.